Let's simplify a quotient of expressions involving exponents. Usually when we so simplify such expressions, we'll write only positive exponents. So let's get started. Let's rewrite y to the fourth as what? y times y times y times y. And of course we have x to the fifth, x times x times x times x times x. Times x. Over what? Well, we have y to the sixth power. And so I'm going to write the y to the second power right here. And then we're going to reduce. Okay, remember that y to the fourth over y to the fourth is just one. And then what do we have here? We have times x squared times x squared. And finally, we have times x to the third power over y squared. So these reduce to one. And then what do we have left? We simply have x to the third power over y to the second power. There's the final expression. Let's look at problem number two. Well, this is really an invisible one. Let's make it visible. So we have one times v to the fourth times w to the fifth. Why do we want to make that invisible one visible? So now we can write one fifth times what? v to the fourth over v to the fourth, and then times w to the third over w to the third, and then finally, what do we have left? We have w squared. You could say we could write another invisible one here. Let's write another invisible one. What's uh, the denominator y squared? The denominator y squared is just 1. And now we reduce. Once again, these are 1s. And when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So we really have 1 times w squared over 5 times 1. Well, what is that? That is w squared over 5. And that is our final simplified expression.